Edward Don and Company is the premier food service supplier for the entire country. Uh, most people don't know we exist, but we're the largest of its kind. Um, basically, anything in a restaurant, we sell it. Straws, napkins, uh, pots, ladles, dippers, spoons, uh, china, glass, anything you can think of. You know, anything from a disposable to chemicals to uh, everything. <laughs> Our motto is everything but the food. First thing I do when I get into a restaurant and try to find out if they do business with us or not, and you know, figure out who's who's the owner, go talk to the owner, talk to the chef, you know, whatever it is. But I, I'm always looking around. I, I, every time I go to sit down, I used to I used to drive my girlfriend crazy because I would flip over plates, I would flip over silverware, I'd be looking at the bottom of glasses. I'm always trying to figure out where they got it from. Here at Illinois State, I remember sitting in a class and they said, "Look around you, everything in here has been bought or sold." Or bought and sold rather about two or three times, and so you know there's things that you don't even think about that uh, that you can go out and you can sell. I was particularly into sales, so that was uh, it was an industry I knew nothing about, but it was it's I, I really enjoyed growing and learning in it. I have to say that I, I appreciate everything that uh, the university has done for me because they did a great job in preparing me um, to do what I'm doing now. Definitely, uh, Dr. Humphreys uh, really uh, taught me a lot of the the, the good ethical basic sales things that I needed to know. Um, along with doing all the, the training exercises that we did in class that really were pretty accurate um, to, to real life. I really enjoyed that. And then uh, also Dr. Goebel. He was uh, kind of a tough guy, but um, he really got me in line going into the real world. Um, you know, I had my phone when I was in college. I knew when to flip the switch when I got done, but it helped to have um, some some tough professors who knew who knew what they were doing, and I really bought into what they were teaching, uh, especially my last semester because that was really when I really uh, honed in on the sales aspect of it. In an everyday, you don't use the actual sales sequence right through every time, but when you learn it step by step, you realize how you actually subconsciously do use it on a daily basis, and uh, it really instilled that. Um, and on top of that, it, it took away that whole salesman stigma. You know, when I went, when I went through here and I, and I got taught by the people that I was taught by, it, um, they didn't preach be a, a typical used car salesman. They said the value added approach and you know, actually caring about your customers, which really has helped me to keep going even though the economy is the way that it is, because it's now more about relationships than it is about anything. Because uh, if you're going to hold on to business, you got to know somebody. You have to be, you know, you have to be there. You have to be in their face, and you have to. They have to like you. Otherwise, they're just going to go with the guy who's selling it for two cents less. It's all about standing out in the crowd, though. Especially in, they say it's a tough job market right now. But if you get out there and you do things that other people won't do, um, you know, you you go out there and just, you know, just set yourself apart from everyone else, and it'll be fine. <laughs>